everybody. Several people have asked me to do a video on how to use the PD Mate. This is this thing right here. It says PD Mate. There's one under the bench seat. This is for when you have a baby that is too little for the car seat in the captain's chair. Um, this thing can look kind of intimidating, but it's actually not too hard. So I'm going to show you how to use it. So first thing you want to do is you want to raise the head of the stretcher up. Okay. It don't have to be straight up, but you know, at a good angle here. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to take these um, big black straps on either side here, and they're going to go around the head of the stretcher and they're going to buckle behind it. This is what's going to secure this part of the PD mate to your stretcher. Now, these straps here actually go underneath here and they're going to attach the bottom part of the PD mate. Alright, so, um, so, so both sets of seat belts are, are secured now. So now, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our baby, and we can put our baby in here, okay, and it will fit, fit on there just like a regular car seat. And this one is a this little doll is not quite, but you get the idea. Okay. Um, and these of course are adjustable, so we want to make sure they're tucked in. There. So now, um, so the PD mate is on there, and the baby's on there. Let's see here. So what I always do is afterwards, I always come back here. And make sure that all the straps are out of the way and that nothing is kind of dangling. Um, but the black straps that come off of here are the ones that actually mount the PD mate to your stretcher. And sometimes you may have to tighten them a little bit. Um, they've got adjustable straps. Um, this is not something usually you can do in an emergency but if you have an extra two or three minutes then you can put it on there um and put the baby in it because we shouldn't be transporting children without um you know an approved device the only time we really can do that is like an emergency situation like if you're doing cpr on the child put the kid on the cot and let's go otherwise they do need to be secured with a system but that's the pd mate um I made it work the best I could with this little doll, but you can adjust the straps however you need to adjust them. And I'll show you the back so you can see how that looks. So, um, I had to kind of work with it a little bit. Um, this is one of our straps that I just moved out of the way. And this is our shoulder straps. Um, and I just tucked them in that way they wouldn't drag. But you can see how it comes across. Um, some people actually... Um, put this this bottom part underneath that way um, You know I, I Don't know however you want to do it as long as it's secured to something solid to part of the frame You'll be fine. You just don't want the PD mate to be able to fly off the stretcher. It has to be attached to um, You know something solid and you should be fine. So I hope this helps and um, let me know and I'll do a part two if you need me to.